Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. Thanks for watching. This video is a bit different than our normal videos. We're usually like a vlog channel, doing adventures, building on our bus, all of that kind of stuff. This is the first time I've done one of me just sitting here at my desk and talking to you. Uh, I'm excited about it. I love this format. I think it has its purpose and for today, I think it's perfect. So today I'm talking about how much does it cost to build a schoolie, um, which is basically a school bus conversion. The, the people that, um, talk about these things regularly. They call them schoolies. Uh, and so that's kind of become my language. But um, yeah, school bus conversion from a school bus into an RV. I'm going to talk about these things. Uh, all the items that I talk about, I'll link in the description below. So if you are building a bus, or you're thinking about building a bus, or you're just interested to see what we used or criticize us or whatever you want to do, uh, all the links to that stuff is, is down in the description. Um, and I'll talk about why we made certain decisions and where we we put why we put certain money in certain places. There's a lot of decisions to be made when you're doing this that we didn't fully understand the extent of that. Um, and seeking out parts and choosing which parts to use is half the battle or more than half the battle. We thought it was all the building that was the battle. So anyway, I don't use battle in a negative term. We've loved it. We're having a ton of fun, but there's a lot of things to be done. So anyway, let's dive in. The first expense, obviously, when you're thinking about building a bus is what is the bus cost? And so for us, we saw buses ranging from anywhere from $1,500 to $6,500. Um, you know, and there's different styles. You have dog nose buses, you have flat nose buses, you have pushers and you have pullers. And so your dog nose is the, is the style with, I'll, I'll put a picture up on here, but the kind of the engine compartment goes out from the bus flat nose is pretty self-explanatory it's just flat on the front a pusher is a bus that has the engine in the rear and a puller is a bus that has the engine in the front so lots of little terminology to get you familiar with while you're searching for your schoolie so we originally wanted a dog nose just because we loved the look um, but we couldn't find one within reasonable distance from us and fair price that we that we were interested in. So we ended up going with a flat nose bus. It's a Bluebird. You have Bluebird and Thomas are probably your most popular buses. Um, but ours is a flat nose Bluebird. It's a 2001 and uh, and it's a diesel Cummins engine. So we paid $4,600 for our Bluebird, our 2001 Bluebird. Supposedly it has about 150,000 miles on it. And I say supposedly because it's something weird with buses, school buses, that the mileage isn't always correct. I, I, I don't know. Plus you have engine hours because they sit running for a long time. Like if they go to a sporting event or something like that, sometimes they'll just sit running. I don't know. I, I don't know the details, but I just know as I've researched and watched other people and had conversations, sometimes the mileage is a little um, different than what the odometer actually reads. So 40, right off the bat, we're $4,600. I have all of this on a spreadsheet that I'll also link below. You can pull up that spreadsheet. You can see where all these expenses are going um, and see totals and, and all of that kind of stuff. So the first item I have, air conditioner. This is just a simple RV air conditioner that will drop right down on the mount, on the, the emergency exit of the roof of the bus. They seem to work really good with, with minor modifications to make them fit. Um, and we're going to go with one to start out with. And then eventually, if the back of the bus is too hot, we'll put in a second one. But right now, that second emergency exit is actually our access to our deck. So air conditioner. Um, and we're just going with one of the best... Uh, most efficient air, RV air conditioners we can find, which from my research is about $700, okay? Next is refrigerator. And we've gone back and forth on this. So a lot of people just put an electric refrigerator in there, especially if they're planning on just being hooked up um, to uh, RV hookups a lot, or you have a really robust solar system. I like to have the... Um, I like to have the option of running it on propane if we need it. If for some reason the sun didn't show itself for a week or something like that, we're not worried about all of our food spoiling because our refrigerator is reliant on our solar system or on being on hookups. So we're doing a, it's called a two-way refrigerator. It can run off either electric or propane. That's about $1,100. So our composting toilet is the next thing on the list. It's an, it's a thousand dollar purchase. 
one of my happiest thousand dollars that I've thrown down on this on this project so far. And the reason being is because it's self-sustaining. Uh, I don't have to be hooked up to anything. I don't have to empty any black tank. So I really, I mean, I have to empty the the remains within the within the toilet, but I've heard it's really not that bad at all. And most people are doing it a couple times a week or uh, once every couple weeks. So not a big deal in my opinion. Love the composting toilet, uh, $1,000, easy. All right, stove, propane stove, our range, stove and range, $550. This is a simple RV range that we're putting in. Well, we haven't decided for sure if we're doing like an actual drop-in range or if we're going with like a, a freestanding range and stove top um, that runs off propane. Either way, prices are pretty similar um, and I expect to pay about $550 for that. Um, okay, so build out materials as far as lumber goes. I have budgeted $600. Um, I think we have purchased about 60 or 75 percent of our build out materials, meaning like I, I say lumber, we use still frame, uh, we use still studs. Um, they're lighter weight, more flexible, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, I think we've, we've spent about 75% of that and I have budgeted $600. Um, and we've spent 400 so far on what we've put into the bus. So we still need to buy our tongue and groove panels and, and a few other items, but yeah, about, I think we're going to hit the mark on that about $600 for our lumber. Uh, the next is our solar system. Now we had $4,000. Uh, we did not want to miss out on anything with the solar system because boondocking, uh, another term, but going out without any hookups or needing or relying on, you know, civilization or anything like that. We wanted to be able to do that as long as possible. So solar for power was a big deal to us. We didn't want to skimp on it. We didn't want to compromise on it. And so, um, we actually, uh, budgeted 4,000. We ended up spending 6,000. And, uh, in my last video, you can see me install the panels and in a future video you'll see me installing the rest of the system we went through a company called am solar i'll link them down below here uh incredible company so awesome they were so helpful answered all of our questions gave us the full package all the parts everything i wouldn't do it any other way uh love that solar system um, I'm not going to talk about the details of it here because right now we're talking about cost, but just know our solar system is a robust, robust solar system, uh, solar power system. Uh, I always feel weird saying solar system. Okay. So gray water tank, that's a simple, just a plastic polyurethane tank that bolts underneath the bus that both the, uh, both sinks and bathtub will drain into. We will have to empty that, but it's not like emptying black water. Uh, gray water is just your, your bath water, your sink water, that kind of stuff. So no poopies, no peepees. <laughs> uh, water tanks. And we ended up going with two different water tanks. We wanted as close to 100 gallons of fresh water as possibly as possible. Um, and we got pretty close. I have a 35 and a 45. So um, about 80, uh, 80 gallons of fresh water. And it's in two separate tanks. And we had budgeted uh, for those tanks 380 or $390. I ended up only spending $220. So we saved some, some money there. Okay. So the next item is the water pump. This goes along with your freshwater tanks and it's a hundred dollars. We went with one. I mean, you can get them from for $35 if you want to. We wanted to put one in that was powerful, that would give us a good water pressure, but also would last a long time. Um, we're not interested in building something that we're going to have to be fixing a lot over the next, you know, however long that we have it. Uh, wiring. All of our wiring, we budgeted $500 and we ended up spending about $434. So this is all of our raw wire that runs through the walls. We have AC and DC systems. So uh, we'll obviously be able to plug in our laptops and camera batteries and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but then all of our lighting and our water pump and all that kind of stuff will run off of the low voltage 12 volt uh, system. So 
pretty cool. I mean, we were right there in budget and um, yeah, that, that was really nice. Uh, paint. Paint is the next item that we have. Uh, this would be interior and exterior paint. We're painting the interior mostly white. Some of the some of the tongue and groove will be stained uh, different colors, but mostly white. And then the outside, we haven't decided on a color, but our, our budget for that is $250. Our sinks is the next item, kitchen sink and possibly bathroom sink. We haven't decided if we're gonna do a bathroom sink yet or not, uh, but our budget for those is $200. I'm hoping we decide not to do, and it's not all my choice, but I'm hoping we decide not to do a bathroom sink <clears throat> so that uh, I can put a little more budget into the into the kitchen sink. I'd love to have a nice big stainless steel square um, uh, kitchen sink. So we'll see there. We haven't quite made that decision yet. Our faucets, this would include our kitchen faucet, our bathroom faucet, and our shower faucet for $100. That's probably unrealistic. It's probably going to need to be closer to $200, but for right now, I'm keeping it at the $100 that we have it for. Um, shower surround, $250. Uh, I'm doing some research on some flexible tile and grout and stuff that will allow some movement as a bus needs to. Um, there is definitely some torquing. There's some moving, obviously, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm looking at tile. I'd love to do tile, but I want to make sure it's a flexible material so we don't have any issues coming up. Um, but for the shower surround, I've, I've budgeted $250. All right. So, um, the bathtub I already purchased, we had $160, um, we had $160 budgeted for the bathtub. We ended up only spending $130. So that's cool. So save $30 is $30, right? That's right. Um, so it's just a polyurethane. I, I don't know if polyurethane is the right word, but it's a plastic tub for RVs. Um, it's basically three, it's 40 inches by 30 inches, I think. Um, not huge, but it will be nice. I mean, we'll be able to sit in it and shower. It'll be cool. Um, our plumbing supplies. So this was going to be, uh, PEX piping. This will be, you know, valves and brackets and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I budgeted $200. I've already spent 208 and I think we probably have another $50 to go on there. So I think we'll be total $250 on that. Um, the, uh, the next one is cabinets. So cabinets, I budgeted a thousand dollars for, um, and it looks like we're going to come in. This is where I think we're going to save most of our money. We went to Ikea a couple weeks ago and did our whole layout. And it looks like we're only going to have to spend about $580 on cabinets, which is awesome. We needed some budget someplace, especially with how much we spent on our solar power system. So that's awesome. So uh, hopefully it's about $580, $600, let's call it rounded up on cabinets. Uh, next, $150 on countertops. We're doing chop block from Ikea. It's really easy to install, really easy to work with, and it looks fantastic, especially if you stain it. Okay, so uh, next I have a wall mount water heater or inline water heater. And uh, on this water heater, I had budgeted $200. That's on the cheap end. I saw the cheaper ones and I got excited and so I budgeted $200. Then I started reading reviews and people's experiences and people had horrible experiences with these cheap water heaters, these inline uh, tankless water heaters. So we ended up spending about $540 on our inline water heater, but that's fine. I don't care. I, I did not want to sacrifice on this. I want to have a nice warm shower <laughs> every couple of days. And so um, I wanted to make sure that that we did not um, skimp on the water heater, that it's going to work for us and that we're not going to be repairing it in the next couple of weeks, months, or years even. I think the one that we got is has really good reviews and I think it'll hold up really, really well. Okay, next item is a propane tank. So we obviously need something to fuel all of these things the water heater, the, the refrigerator, the range. Uh, and I explored a lot of different options. I finally uh, narrowed in on an undermount propane tank that will mount on the bottom of the bus. 
and it's going to cost us about $450. I haven't purchased this yet. I'm still deciding on where to buy it from, but uh, 450 is a fair budget for that as well. So there you have it. That's our full budget for our bus conversion, our schoolie. Um, and the t grand total is darn near $18,000. So when all is said and done, I really hope, I really, really, really hope that we come in at about the $18,000 mark. And I think it's pretty realistic. Uh, we've gone over, obviously we've gone over budget on a few things, but we'll save budget on a few other things. And uh, that's our hope. So $18,000 is our, is our number. Again, I will link our spreadsheet. So that includes our hopeful budget, but also our actuals so as we actually spend money on the bus you'll be able to look at that watch where the money went what our actual costs are and along with links to all of the parts and pieces so a lot of information in this one sorry I know it's long but I wanted to be thorough because this video is going to mostly be for people who are wanting are, are seriously considering considering building a schoolie or want to know what our expenses were when we built our, our schoolie. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you later. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.